This video is going to provide a general overview of reporting in Masterpiece Manager version 11. To see more in-depth videos on certain reports or how to customize reports, check out our video page. We are making new videos periodically, but if you don't see a video you're looking for, just send us a request and we can add it to our list. All reports can be found by going to the Reports drop-down in the menu on the left. They are separated by section. You have your Inventory, Sales, Contacts, Vendor, and Staff Reports. Let's go to the Inventory Reports. Note we have a section that says Global Template on the top and some on the bottom that do not. The Global Templates are default reports that get automatically created with your profile. They cannot be deleted or changed. However, you can edit a global template and save as a totally new report, which is where the bottom section comes from. These are all the reports that I created myself. One huge benefit of Masterpiece reporting capabilities is the fact that you can customize your reports to look however you want, or you can have multiple reports with slight changes. For example, you may want a report of wall cards that fit on Avery 5160 and has the title, artist, and price. Then another wall card report with images, and maybe one with barcodes. The flexibility is there. Won't delve into the customizing procedures in this video, but the gist is that you can click on the edit icon on the right to go to the designer view. The designer view is a WYSIWYG editor, or otherwise known as a what you see is what you get editor. To change something about the report, you have your menu on the top where you can bold, italicize, change font color, size, add tables, etc. You can change the text by simply typing in the new text and you can add data fields by clicking where you want the data to go and then choosing from the available data fields on the left. When done, type in the new name of the report on top and click on Save As. Let's go back to the Reports view. To delete a report, just click on the box to the left and press the Delete button on the top right. Note that all inventory reports can be found here, but this isn't necessarily the only place you can access the reports. For example, the Batch of Images report, also known as the Tear Sheet, can also be printed directly on the item screen. This makes it easy to pull up an item and click directly on the picture and print out a tear sheet that you then give to your client. Also, the new cell screen has a drop-down where you can print receipts, certificate of authentication, shipping receipt, and any other custom reports you may want to print directly from the transaction. So, a question you may have is, how do you get the reports to appear in the drop-down on the new cell screen? Or, how do you change which report prints by default on the batch of image report? Let me show you. You can control this by going to Admin, Company Settings, and then Transaction Settings. Let's click on Show Report Settings. Any new report you create that uses the cells dataset will automatically appear here. Just check the reports you want to see in the transaction screen. We have made the global reports in bold. This makes it easy to distinguish which ones were the default reports, which is especially useful if you named your custom reports exactly the same. To set your default report for batch of images or tear sheet, just click on this button. I only have one custom batch of image report, but you may have a lot more. You can also change the default reports for new sales and purchase orders. When done, click on Save. A relatively new feature in Masterpiece is that you can now set permissions on the report modules by going to Admin, User Permissions. Let's say that your gallery would like to prevent access to sales report for new staff. Just go to the Reports User role, check the boxes in the applicable use role, and hit Save. In this example, a staff that is assigned to entry level will not be able to see, add, modify, or delete any sales reports. And finally, if you have any extensive requirements for new reports and would like us to handle this for you, we'd be happy to help. Just click on Help, Report Customization. Please document as best as you can the changes you are needed, and it would be helpful if you can upload a PDF or Word document with an example of what you are looking for. Also note that we do charge an hourly fee for report customization, and we'll be glad to provide an estimate beforehand, but most reports are usually done in one to three hours, depending on how many reports you need and how extensive the customization is. And that is reporting in Masterpiece Manager version 11.